U.S. will not abandon Taiwan, Pelosi says in face of Chinese suppression. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on China and Taiwan. In the face of military suppression from China, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi has reaffirmed the United States' commitment to Taiwan. The United States Congress will never abandon Taiwan, she said in a statement. We are a country that stands up for democracy and human rights. Pelosi is currently in Taiwan on an official visit, but Chinese forces have been mobilized in response and have even fired upon Taiwanese vessels. This is just the latest example of China's attempts to suppress any mention or display a friendship between the U.S. and Taiwan. Taiwan is an important strategic ally in the region, and the U.S. has a duty to protect it from Chinese aggression. Pelosi's visit is a strong show of support for our ally and sends a clear message that we will not be intimidated by China. Pelosi also met with Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen during her visit. The United States will continue to stand with Taiwan and support its international partnerships, she said. We urge China to cease its military, diplomatic, and economic pressure against Taiwan and instead engage in meaningful dialogue with Taiwan's democratically elected representatives. The U.S. has been a staunch supporter of Taiwan ever since the two countries established diplomatic relations in 1979. And while China has been increasingly assertive in recent years, the U.S. has reaffirmed its commitment to Taiwan's defense. In 2016, then-President Barack Obama signed the Taiwan Travel Act, which allows for high-level visits between U.S. and Taiwanese officials. And earlier this year, the Trump administration approved a $330 million arms sale to Taiwan. China's aggressive behavior is only serving to further isolate it from the international community. The U.S. will continue to stand with Taiwan and other democracies in the face of Chinese suppression. What do you think about Pelosi's visit to Taiwan? Subscribe to World News Channel for more updates on China and Taiwan.